Hello, friends. We're back. Today we're talking about myths and legends and well, funky stuff. Finish. But this is what we heard. This mm. is our opinion. We're not teaching people how to live. Fuck no. Yeah. We're not. Yeah. I don't want to be the one who's saying things that I think it's the right way. This, this is, is just experience. This is on our yeah on our. Experience. Maybe next year I'm gonna say oh sorry for this episode. Uh, there is some myths that actually work. <laughs> so yeah. Glowing in the dark, you know. If you have heard something funky, remember to to leave a comment. And I will remind it at the end. Yeah, judge, judgmental comments are also welcome he's been on holiday i will go on holiday so we will do an episode holidays are good for you it's good for your skin and with all that summer and holiday situations there's a couple of myths and funky stories we want to talk about myths it's nothing about dragons or lizard men or just rings <laughs> no it's about myths that people created by watching wrong videos or reading wrong sites. Or having wrong friends. Wrong friends or wrong mothers who knows everything about tattoos. So, follow our lead. First myth, <laughs> very popular myth. Many customers are scared almost of colored tattoos and the most terrifying thing is red color. It's, Everyone's allergic to red. It's like a demon. Yeah. Oh, so red ink. No. Yeah, I'm allergic. Can how, I test how it? How do you know? Uh, Even people without tattoos know that they're allergic to red. Ink. Yeah, yeah. They are scared of that. Not everyone, but there is some people who got fucking scared. I think it's it. all because of the story that was in newspaper that some dude who was like, he had some medical issues and all that, and he got the two with red it got infected he mm. lost his leg and now everyone is allergic to red. yeah it was on the tv or tv or newspaper yeah yeah i heard I'm not in from denmark here. yeah i heard that in denmark there was some home tattooer doing tattoo and obviously guy lost his leg because of crazy infection but scary story what true I, story i guess true story but dude but you can tattoo with not only colors so <laughs> yeah it's but like We've seen some reactions, but the amount of people who ask it, and lately we, we see and hear less of that. So, obviously, you have to be careful. It exists, but it's not as common as people think. If you're worried about, like, you that someone has bad colors in the tattoo shop, you can ask and uh, make sure that everything is see, how it should See be. what they lie about it. Another thing is infection. Everything is infected. No matter what happens, it's always the answer is it's infected. It's a little, <laughs> little bit swollen, infected, a little bit red, infected, a little bit sensitive, infected. infected. If there is a, a vibe shading on it, it's still infected. If you see dots and you don't know what is that or if it's meant to be a shadow or something. It On a black and gray tattoo where light shadow fades out and while it's fresh it's a bit red. Infected. Infected. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make really good song out of it. <laughs> Infected. Yeah. Um, it's not true. There's so. Irritations and what else? No. I mean, it's, sometimes it's true, but it's best to come and check before call names. Mm. Um, so the main thing, the holiday thing, people are afraid to get tattoos in summer. They say, but you can't get tattoos in summer. You can't show them in the sun for two, three months and stuff like that. Yeah, there is many people coming to the shop and they're like, oh, summer is coming. I should uh, wait till it's gone because obviously there is sun. I want to swim in the beach. Can I move my appointment to September? Yeah. No, and I'm like, what? What are you talking about? What is this? <laughs> I like your answer when you said, "What do you think? What people do in California yeah. or in Spain?" Yeah, like, it's, it's a plus. Like, we are living in area. I think all the Europe shouldn't be worried about, especially northern. <laughs> yeah. In Denmark, there's no such thing as summer. 
but uh, first first week, ten days, two weeks, you have to be careful when it's when the scab, when it's like really healing, and then it's it's done. Yeah, I always say if you go in the sun and the tattoo is new, just put sun cream there and it should work. Don't if, go tanning second day and expect that cream yeah. will help. But if you do it after two weeks, you're safe. Yeah, I've been trying on myself. I got tattoos, fresh tattoos, swimming in a, in ocean, being in a sun. Nothing happened. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't so. really speak of countries like, I don't know, the... There's a lot of sun, like some crazy Africa so, or stuff like that, but yeah. There's also people with tattoos. Yeah, I was in Australia where you could get sunburn in 10 minutes if you don't put sun cream. And I had completely fresh knee tattoo. I could... I had no problems. Maybe you lose a little bit of brightness, you don't even see that. I don't think your eye can actually... Some dude from see, South see. Africa said that they have some issues with damaged skin and so much sun that it's something to do with skin cancer. But that's far from Denmark. Yeah, so. there is a chance, <laughs> of course. Uh, I'm like... That's specific regions and stuff. Yeah, yeah, specific regions. For region. most of the places and most of the tourists we talked with have not heard anything like that. What's the next thing? Colors fade. Yeah. People don't want to get color tattoos because they fade. Like, everything fades. If if you worried about that something's gonna fade, then it's gonna fade even if it's black and gray or whatever it is. Or I mean, tattoos fade, but uh, they settle down. They settle down. Well, I don't think they're gonna fade in the uh, first year. I don't think they're gonna fade so crazy in two years as well. I guess it's up to the quality of the two as well. And I think that myth comes from like these really old school tattoos when you can see a guy with some <laughs> will tattoo with bit of green and bit of black and it's so faded. But I I think it was done so long ago that everything was different back then. Mm. Ink and what else? Not needles. So yeah, I mean, it's nice that you're worried about uh, things like that, but um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Want the two settle down and it's not as bright as it was when it's fresh. I think it even looks better. It looks like it's been part of you for some time, so it doesn't look like a, a fake sticker. So <laughs> yeah, like that's just me. I mean, I'm not the only one who says that. But we had a couple of times when people ask for touch up session when tattoo is healed and it's just healed, but they just see it as not as bright. Yeah, well, it's not so black anymore. It's like it is still black. It's under your skin. There is a layer on top that blocks a little bit. So, but I think back in the days when when there were tattooists we know were starting, it was kind of a standard thing that you do it and after like two, three, four weeks, you have to do another session, but if you know what you're doing, I think they It's good for good. business. <laughs> it's good for business. Well, touch-ups are free, so... Yeah, but I mean, there, there is a... Of course, you can go all over the tattoo after like 15 years or 10 years, I don't know, up to yeah, you. Yeah, freshen it up. Yeah, uh, that's totally normal. doesn't matter if it's black and gray or color. Uh, sometimes I think... I, I'm not that big of a expert in this thing, but I, I have feeling sometimes black and gray fades even more because they're, everything is gray. So when you use colors, you can separate things, you know, with the different colors. So it kind of keeps that uh, strong look still. But maybe I'm wrong. I okay. just... Okay. Uh, so I, I, I think... You don't have to worry about fading. Go for what you like and uh, make make sure the tattoo is made good. You know that's it. Another thing that comes probably from the from the same good old days with second session of touch up is stories like if it's faded or something. That's more like from tattooist side that they sort of blame on a customer. Oh, that's they say like oh like your skin doesn't take ink oh it's it's a bit patchy it's probably your skin yeah why it heals so bad oh it's probably you 
<laughs> it's or your the, fault. Or the beer situation. <laughs> yeah. That's that's very Latvian thing. I haven't heard it anywhere else. But uh, even back in the days, doctors were saying after operations you can drink beer and. Uh, Many tattoos still say after you have fresh tattoo done, mm. you can't drink beer because it's like fermenting alcohol and it can, all that yeast situation can give you some infections. But I think it doesn't affect it more as just alcohol in general is unhealthy. It's dehydrates. And it just makes you feel good. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> when you're drunk and brave and want to show off your tattoo, maybe pass out on it. But yeah, it's easy to blame on a beer. Yeah, I had the old tattooer who who tattooed one of my first tattoos, and I remember customers went back to him and like, oh, there is line missing. It's like you probably drink a beer. Don't tell me you didn't. Why the line is missing then? You know, he's just going all all over them about this thing. Yeah. I can't do it. I, I respect like, I respect beer too much because maybe he believes in it so hard that he don't accept that he's maybe he's. Fault. I know many people <laughs> like. I've heard it from not many, many, but definitely more than one. And sometimes you ask them, so explain me, what's the deal? And they're like, I don't know, you just can't drink it because it's a beer. Beer is bad. Like it's beer, wine, all the f fermenting things. But yeah, I think they don't even know explanation. Maybe if it's some supernatural beer that's still brewing, there's there's something S happening. Is still, you have to be really special person yeah. it's but the I same as getting cancer from milk <laughs> yeah but i i think this like if if beer can stay in a in a shop for a year in the shelf then it's not fermenting it's like yeah it's it's just a beverage well, I I don't know. I heard that some people can get infections by by wine or whatever something stronger, you know. Well, they probably can get infections from thin air as well but like you know if you're super Not infection again i'm like one of them <laughs> but uh you know like heals not as good maybe slows down the process i think it is possible i know a guy who was got tattoo on festival and was drink like drinking beer and blaming it's like oh yeah it was mad infected because i drank beer yeah I on the it. same festival i saw that guy dancing in the dust <laughs> at six in the morning like in the circles alone <laughs> so i think the beer was least of the troubles on the hola hola <laughs> just slapping your tattoo with dirty hands so i also had the experience with this on myself uh i got also one of the first tattoos like a small one and uh i was partying and i was like oh shit i should wash my tattoo that was in the middle of night in a bar and i went to the toilet <laughs> that like dirty sink and everything i'm washing my tattoo with the dirty hands and like oh yeah i'm taking care of it you know put put new cream with dirty hands and then of course the dirt is there and man it swell up so bad next day and i had these white pimples and i was still thinking like what there is some reason why it's wrong i don't know what and only now I figure out, like, fuck, man, it's probably the lifestyle I had <laughs> that yeah. night. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah. From tattooist side and customer side, there's a thing about white ink. Like, that some people want too much white ink. Like, they just, oh, yeah, you can just color it in and then... Some tattooists say that white disappears. There's no point to get it. Mm. But I, I, I had a couple, like, I did four tattoos with four different whites. They all stayed, and there's new tattoo on top of it, and you can still see that white. But it, yeah, it's just not white. It definitely doesn't stay white, but it's staying there. Yeah, I think it depends of the place. I think white is one of the colors that's uh, getting destroyed by sun really easy. I think there is certain colors that could fade uh, I think faster. It doesn't get also the yeah maybe not the color. I think I think it's just you can like you can see that it's not white because it gets covered with that layer of skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, definitely one of the things. And then it's it's a common sort of common question for cover-ups, like. People ask like, oh, maybe you can go over all my tattoo with white or like skin color and then it will be gone and then you start new, you like erase it, but it just doesn't work like that. Yeah, there is a second, like there is a two session, many session cover-ups. You can do first session 
put like a gray layer of thick colors that covers a little bit and make everything kind of faded and then you have to go all over but it doesn't make it disappear but for maybe, sure maybe maybe from them stories people have that kind of illusion that it's it's like mm. like you know on a computer when you take white color or something uh, or the over. corrector pen where you just erase it and mm. start new it's i think it's better to do a scarification than <laughs> cut it out just cut it out <laughs> easier another <laughs> that that's like i think that's probably from some prison stories or something but it's almost like with the fingers i think like not 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 exactly but i mean for some people some places works better white some not you know uh, some uh, position like if you tattoo inside the arms i saw yours your white looks pretty strong i've seen also one girl on the tie it was pretty white still you know but uh, again the skin is not that brown there you know and uh, and it's probably harder to work with it and to see when it's in so maybe that's a reason why but there's so many excuses but it's usually used for highlights and really don't, don't expect yeah, a lot from yeah, white yeah. Your white is like a highlight for parts where it's heavy black a lot of blacks that pushes the white more out uh, for me personally i don't use white that often i use sometimes sometimes but uh, it's really from artist if the artist is good he knows what, where to put white then probably it's gonna work Hopefully. but but it's not gonna stay white forever that's for sure. I have some tattoos with white in it. You can't even see it. Depends of the placement and how do you use the white. Cover up situations with white. And then we had a myth in, in, in tattooists. I know I heard stories like you can tattoo in with milk <laughs> or something like that. And it fades color. I can't say that it's not working. I never tried. I never know anyone who tried. I just heard the myth. It's like doesn't <laughs> doesn't sound like a good idea. If anyone wants to it's try like it, try trilogy. it and let us know. Let us know how it works. The same with the guy I told you about uh, how to make glowy tattoos just with the f use the coconut uh, skin. <laughs> the coconut. What do you call that white? Yeah, coconut. coconut. Yeah, you use that coconut. Coconut meat. Yeah. <laughs> beef of coconut use that uh, put a little bit in the ink uh, and then tattoo and it's gonna glow in the dark it's like what you have to use some fucking products from supermarkets to make your tattoo glow and uh, covered you know and we've been asked it's not so often wrong. but we've been asked you do glow in the dark tattoos we don't i had some tattoos one tattoo on myself with that uv ink which was glowing red but it's not glow in the dark. It's a UV tattoo. I think, in my personal opinion, if if that ink is sell, sold by licensed place, and I think it should be safe enough. I I didn't have any problems, but it's 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 covered. It was meant to be like red. It was pinkish. For it to glow, you have to stand really close to the to the light. Hmm. I don't see anything bad about it, but I think there should be someone who's specializing in that thing. Yeah, I heard stories about people dying from it. I don't know if it's true. Uh, and I heard that it's illegal, but pff, I really don't know. But I, I have an idea. If, if you want to glow in the dark, eat seafood from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of it, <laughs> it's gonna cost you less. <laughs> and, uh, instead less of pain. instead of buying gym for a month, go, buy X-ray for a month and go there. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, you really people like to glow in the dark. And even <laughs> if you, even if you Google them, they are sort of fun and cool, but they are not as cool and as crazy quality works as you as you would imagine. My favorite is a guy who have bicycle tattooed around his eyes like wheels and stuff. Glow, glowing. Yeah, the white ink. It's so awesome. Oh. Just like check it out. I have bicycle on my face. Fuck! I don't understand how how you get to that point. <laughs> You're like maybe you are like some into bikes, like so it's your sport, or you into like fixed gear or something like you know. Bicycle like, is my life. It's my face. Bicycle is my life. It's a meaning, you know. Everyone have their meanings of tattoos. Yeah, so. tattoos are for themselves, but cause somehow they want to show off all the time they got tattoos. So I don't know. That's another. That's another thing. Every 
tattoo have to have meaning? Many people ask about my tattoos. Probably they ask you what's the meaning, and mm. then they tell their own meanings. But sometimes it's just a tattoo. Yeah, it's a beautiful picture. And even it's, if there is meaning, it's your meaning. So you can also make up any story about it. Yeah. And I think it shouldn't say your meaning into it because people sometimes are like, mm. oh, these four leaves represent my like four years in Nepal or something. <laughs> it's like, you know, like. I think it's cool if you have a meaning. Some people have crazy awesome ideas and meanings. And like my cousin is into the bike club, he has these crazy meanings about this it represents that and i mean there is people who has it uh, and it's cool but it's not like you can't get the two if you don't have a meaning i think it's some uh, uh, our s society created this myth about like all the tv shows obviously that tattoos should have a meaning or oh, definitely someone has to be dead in your family to get to be getting tattooed you know so i'm like chill out man you know when you're a kid, like it's our generation, and you see them dudes with the tribal tattoos, don't think there's much of a meaning behind it. Yeah, like prisoners have a meaning maybe, you know, like, well, it's like, it's a body art, man. It's uh, In the end, everyone wants to look nice, you know, and uh, that's it, you know. Okay, meaning is cool, but without meaning, it also works. I have this tattoo, which... The, the, the symbol have a meaning that it should kind of it should make your enemies fear you I don't think I have enemies so, <laughs> so what to do Man, I, I, I have to make enemies I had uh, my palm tattoo it's a symbol of sun and uh, I showed one guy I can't remember where I think it was in uh, Berlin uh, and he was like and what it means if it's a symbol of the sun I'm <laughs> like, it's a symbol of the sun. That's what it means. It's like, I mean, it's like a life, you know, whatever. You can come up with shit. So sun is one of the things that we are still here because of the sun, you know. It gives Cause, us. Because you can't get tattoos when it's sunny. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But, you know, like, yeah, people are really itchy. They always think that there is some story behind, you know. But what about, like, art collectors, you know? There is people collecting paintings. I think it's kind of similar, a little more extreme, but there is a lot of tattoo collectors. They collect their tattoos from different artists. They don't uh, necessarily go to one artist to get all their tattoos done. They travel, uh, get tattoos by other people who they think they are really amazing artists. So it's like... And you can find a meaning also there, you know? The meaning of getting a tattoo is that you are a collector, for example, or... I love tattoos. Yeah, my meaning. I, I, I like this I love design. Music. <laughs> that is the best meaning. I love yeah. music. I want music notes. It's like, do you know someone who hates music? <laughs> yeah, music is not my thing. I prefer silence. <laughs> a lot of people come and get tattoos and they always say, oh, this is for me. That's why I want it this way, you know? Like, all good, all good. But sometimes your way is the wrong way and uh, it can ruin your life maybe for that moment you think that it's the right way i but will i will look at it forever like yeah this. you know i'm talking right now about upside down tattoos for example but there is like many different small things i think uh, a good tattooer always know what which position looks better on the body uh and whatever but uh, of course if the person wants it exactly there we always do it but upside down tattoos are i think that's the worst thing you can do because uh, obviously it's completely wrong it's the same as putting your t-shirt wrong way you know or or and especially on some designs like like cross for example yeah it's like it looks maybe you see it right but th think about what like i know it's for you but other people see that satanic looking cross on you even if you're religious and it just makes it a question who the fuck are you are you from church or are you from fucking devil's hall the tattoos are for you and they will be for you no one will take them away from you but uh they have to look good too yeah other people look at it and you don't want to explain your tattoos too much cross and upside down cross is good example my favorite example is little love hearts. People like to get them on fingers and stuff. If they're upside down, they look like butts. <laughs> yeah.
and yeah, uh, yeah. it's letters like, this some is the... letters like m and w it it's like a double v yeah it's the i think this is the most frustrating thing for every tattooer uh, as much as I talked about everyone, it's always this like w w people make jokes out of it, like oh yeah, it's for myself, you know. And it's like, like if it's if it's a name, it's not too bad because you see it and you can read it. But there's some things that are very questionable, and like our. But it always these small tattoos that they want upside down, and I had so many people who after some time, years, uh, come back and want to cover. Of, of these upside down tattoos they, and they always like oh yeah you were right you know it's so hard to, to tell certain people your opinion uh, as a professional opinion you know about it and they're just like focusing on the thing like no it's for me it's like it's almost like they are obsessed with it you know? i always say i'm happy if you happy happy but uh my i have to explain that and mm. then you can make your decisions because yeah i mean it's the easy easiest part is to make it the two you know uh especially if it's just and then you have to live with it yeah so i just i'm i'm always getting really itchy <laughs> i'm getting really uh, i want to help people out because i know that there is many people who uh, afterwards they just regret that it's upside down especially if you are planning to build up the sleeve this will be the one piece of it that's gonna mess up the rest of the arm. So think about it. Maybe read more information about what's what and like think logically. Like if you would want a, a portrait of someone, you're not gonna make it upside down. Think about how it's gonna look, you know, when you have a head fucking pointing the other direction, you know? Like I heard that there's, there's some tattoos, but it's some like. Mexican prison stuff that they have to be upside down all that there's the Virgin meaning. Mary or something that's the meaning if you come with the meaning on the, uh, in the shop and say this screw, this cross is, is upside down because I'm satanic <laughs> whatever you know uh, in the end we try to just do our best and uh, our opinion counts exactly Anything else? I think I think we talked about everything that we talked that we will talk. <laughs> what what what's happening now? Now we're saying that you should subscribe and if you have some funky story, weird myth, some crazy legends of tattoo world that you heard and you think it's some funny stuff, comment. Comment. Comment yeah, now. Yeah, don't be fucking lazy ass bitch <laughs> <laughs> use you you know people like to comment things so don't tell me you don't want to yeah just yeah. comment that i know we are fucking famous we have how many f uh, subscribers you have? almost 100 so i know it's a tough thing to do to come and set you up a page like we are and we, we obviously will, we making will, a we history will, we will not look down on you maybe maybe we will if you're not commenting. We're gonna look upside down on you. Yeah. <laughs> for us, it will be for. Can you, can you comment upside down so we can read it? Cause it's for us. <laughs> yeah. And if some of you gets offended, it's good. Cause I mean, yeah, that yeah. it means that we work. <laughs> like my grandmother used to say, tough shit. <laughs> It's probably from the movie. movie it's Die from, Hard. It's no, it's from Weeds TV series. Oh shit, tough shit. So, yeah. See you till next time. Bye, friends. I love you.